Hi guys. Okay, so what I want to do is every month I want to um, either test out um, new products, different products, um, stuff like that. And then at the end of the month I'll make another video telling you if I liked the product or if I did not. So we're going to start off with um, two things that I actually tried out um, in January and I'm actually switching back to what I used to use this month. Um, last month I tried out Equate facial cleansing toilets to remove my makeup. I don't know if this is like a Walmart brand or what but I did get it at Walmart. It was like a um, dollar. Um, I do not recommend this brand. Um, I found when I was like taking off my eye makeup, it would make my eyes like water and almost burn. Um, so I definitely do not recommend this brand, um, unless you want your eyes to burn in water. Um, so I'm going back to the brand that I would have bought if um, they weren't sold out of the brand I usually use. I usually use Pawns. Um, this for 30 it was like $4. You can get a smaller pack of 15 for about $2, $3. Um, but these are great makeup removing towelettes. Um, definitely your eyes don't burn using this. Um, it's a very gentle towelette. So I definitely recommend this for makeup removal. Next thing that I'm switching back to is I tried... Um, the Venus Breeze. Now, I don't have the razor on it because, um, well, it was old and used and all that stuff. But I got the Venus Breeze. It's the pink one. Now, the razor is um, what I had a problem with. It's like one of those ones where it's the razor and then above it and below it, they had like the moisturizing strip. Um, I found when I was shaving my legs... Not only did um, whatever they used for their moisturizing strip, it like um, lathered on my leg. And also, the other thing, it was like gooey almost. Like if this was my leg and I was shaving it and I went like this, there would be a string of like goop from the moisturizing um, strips. Um, definitely did not give me a close shave. Um, I actually had to shave every single day because of it. Um, so I do not recommend um, this certain one, the Venus Breeze with um, that moisturizing strip. You'll know which one I'm talking about. If you go to the store and you find the Venus Breeze, it comes with the razor on it, and you'll see what I mean. Um, definitely do not recommend getting that. So what I'm doing is I'm going back to my old method um, what I do is, I actually get disposable razors. They last about three or four um, shavings. And um, I actually can get away with shaving every other day. Um, so, um, I'm definitely going back to this. There's ten in a pack. Now, this Bic one that I have, the Silky Touch, um, if you buy this one, um, I guess what the package is saying is that... Um, some of um, the proceeds go to fight breast cancer. So definitely a good way to donate in the process of getting your beauty care supplies. But um, I find that disposable razors give you a closer shave. Um, you do have to be careful though because you can obviously cut yourself. They don't have those um, protective wires like some um, razors do. But I definitely recommend using disposable razors. Plus it's really cheap. Um, this was like $1.97 for a pack of 10. Um, next on the list is G O. Well, actually, let's go over shaving cream first since I just did the razors. Um, I've been using Skin to Mint shaving cream. Now, I do like this brand. I do recommend this brand. Um, but I actually saw a YouTube video. Um, this girl was actually shaving her legs with um, Canteen Pro V conditioner. And I kind of want to try it out. So this month, um, I'm replacing my skin to mint with Pantene Pro-V Conditioner. It's the Moisture Renewal. Because it was the only one that wasn't like for a specific hair type. It was just moisture in general. Um, 
So, plus, um, she said it's a thicker conditioner. It's not, like, a really runny one. So, definitely going to try this out and see if it works as good or better um, as regular shaving cream. Next on the list is deodorant. Now, I've tried Dove deodorant. I recommend Dove. Dove's a great brand. Um, I've used Secret. It's okay. Um, not a real big fan, but it's okay. Um, I've used the Sub, um, and I got it in Tropical Paradise. It was 24-hour protection and an invisible solid. Um, do not glide on invisible. I mean, it left white marks on black, so, um, but, I don't know, I just don't like this brand. So, um, actually, if you can believe it or not, I've never tried Degree deodorant. Um, so I want to try that brand. Um, I got Degree Girl Just Dance. Um, I'm going to guess that's good because it was totally sold out. Um, and it was on sale for um, either $1 or $2. can't remember. But it smells really good. Um, this is also an invisible solid. So got to put it to the test with wearing black. Um, I'm going to try that out, see how good that deodorant works. Next is lotions. Okay, so I've been using the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Lotion. Um, one thing I don't like about this is you have to constantly reapply it. Um, so that's um, a reason why I'm switching. I want to try a different lotion. Um, I don't like reapplying it all throughout the day. So I want to see if there's something that will last all day. So I've seen commercials and I've seen this um, advertised in magazines. So I'm going to try the Olay Body Quench Body Lotion. Um, I've heard it's really good, so I want to try it for myself. Um, has a nice scent to it. Um, but it says lasting moisturization, so I'm going to put that to the test. Next is um, foot cream. In the fall and winter, I like to use foot lotion because um, it just keeps them nice. That way I don't have to do extra work when it comes to spring and summer. And you're wearing the flip-flops, the sandals, all that stuff. Plus, I work at Hollister, and I wear flip-flops all day at work. So, But I've been using um, this pampering foot cream from Victoria's Secret. Absolutely love it. Recommend it. Bad thing is, I can't find it. So if anyone knows if they still have this, whether they changed the packaging or something, please tell me, because it is the best foot cream ever, and it smells amazing too. So, unfortunately, that's run out. So, I'm going to try Dr. Scholl's for her Ultra Overnight Foot Cream. Looks like this. It's about $4. Found it in um, the foot section with, like, um, those uh, sole things that you put in your shoes. It's going to be in that aisle, not your lotion aisle. So I'm going to try that out. And the last thing I'm going to try is um, I really like Neutrogena um, skincare products. I've been using the Porifying Cleanser. Really like it. Um, but I want to try something new. So I'm going to try the Neutrogena Deep Clean Cream Cleanser. It was about $8. Um, this one lasted about six months. That's how long it lasted. Um, you don't use a lot. So, gonna see how this works out. So, at the end of this month, definitely look out for the video of um, me telling you what worked, what didn't work, um, what I recommend, what I don't think is a good um, thing to buy. So, definitely look out for that video.